What's up, Doombots? Tony Scangili here with his brand new Blitz series called One to Infinity. Thanks to the brand new patch that allows the Red Star Blitz to have five minute cooldowns, I don't have to worry about Blitz rotations or using charges. I just have to take my three strongest teams and use them on repeat in a very cyclical fashion and score, I don't know, half a million points every 10 minutes pretty strong strategy as you can probably see I'm working my way up the roster right now and uh, really good really positive changes to blitz in general because you know some people were talking about how six hour blitz was better than two hour blitz or how uh, you know maybe we should just have charges what if we just did away with all of that what if you could just blitz forever what if you could just never sleep and constantly use your best teams Th this would be a very very strong and engaging gameplay mechanic for the community and i'm pretty sure everyone's gonna love it right no why all right obviously i'm joking right this was clearly a mistake someone put a decimal point in the wrong spot it was clearly never meant to be this way and yes, it'll have some ramifications for people who were already blitzing. And yes, it'll have some ramifications for people who were able to accomplish a lot in their milestones, their World Warrior. So, oh, and of course, it will have allowed anyone who did this to accrue quite a bit of extra blitz charges. So, yeah, it's kind of a problem. But I don't want to make a video making fun of something Fox Next did. That's what my stream is for. What I want to do is make a video that discusses why this happened and how this kind of thing shouldn't happen again. Now, I have some experience as a developer for games, mobile games, software. I, I've been around the block. And what I'm noticing is a lot of the patches that come out with arbitrary errors can be avoided with the addition of an internal test server. Now, I know that they have created an actual test server to allow members of the community to test and see and learn how new characters interact, but that's not the same thing as QA. When you release a patch that creates a series of problems, uh, not to dredge it up, but maybe you release a patch that forces half of the game to be kicked from their alliances. Those are things you fix, and compensation occurs, but you really need to stop putting this out. Like, seriously. But you really can do better. I mean that. And it's not that hard. The simplest solution I can offer you is make a server in between your development server and your go live and have any human being that exists play on it for an hour there are some things that would immediately be picked up any of the changes you make whether you're pushing them over the air whether it's a full-fledged patch can be caught in about an hour that's what QA is and I think you can do it I have faith in you, Fox Next. You can't keep releasing patches that break the system. It's bad for you. It's really bad. And I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that. I don't blame the developers. I don't blame the programmers. I don't blame anyone except whoever is allowing this to continue to happen. So please, take a little time and some of that wonderful, wonderful Marvel IP money you're generating and use it to sure up the quality of what you're putting out. You release a wonderful game with excellent characters and some very fun mechanics, but if every single patch you release has the entire community waiting for what the next compensation package is, that's not the problem of an entitled community, that's an expectation that you have set and failed to rectify. My suggestion, 
and it's just a suggestion. Since all of this seems to have come from you improving Blitz, is, and hear me out, what if you unimproved Blitz, brought it back to the system the way it was, that while not perfect, was at the very least stable, and allow yourself a little bit of time to actually release a functional and usable release of game modes. I don't want you to keep doing this. I don't. I, I don't want to be the guy that keeps telling you to do this. But you keep doing this. And at some point in time, people are going to stop allowing it. This is a very simple solution, Fox Next. Test your product. I think you're confused about whether the community would be willing to wait. I assure you that while the large part of the community does want you to release more content, almost all of the community wants you to release stable and complete content. And if you were to be open and honest and allow your community managers to report, we understand the patch is delayed, we will get to it. Or we are working hard to make sure you have a quality of product in your release. You'd find that the community would be much more receptive and way more forgiving and on top of it all, way less anticipatory of compensation. Please, take any amount of time you need. We're not talking about fixing Alliance War that everyone hates. We're not talking about fixing the shell game that people are playing with Alliance War systems so that they can generate more value against weaker opponents. We're not talking about any kind of slingshotting an arena, things that should have been fixed but haven't, we're, we're just going to leave all of those things and we're going to put them on the floor and we're just going to ask you, as a community, we have three months left this year, can you please release one patch that doesn't break a fundamental facet of the game? Just one. And the solution to doing that is simple. Make a test server. Have someone test it. Have game players test it. Have Envoys test it. Have me test it. I'll do it for free. And I won't tell anything about it. Someone needs to make sure that the game you release is the game you want to release. And it needs to be you, because if it's not you, it's us, and then I make these videos. Please, Fox Next. Make a quality test server, check what you've done, and stop rushing these patches that have changes that can potentially cause these problems. That's pretty much it for the video. Uh, hopefully, I would say you guys enjoyed it, but I don't think anyone's really enjoying it. And while we can laugh about uh, what happened because it was funny, uh, I think it's a really good opportunity for Fox Next to grow and learn, and hopefully that they do. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tony Scangeli. Have a good night, have a great day, and I'll catch you later.